Hey guys, Rolia or Taylor here, and today I'm back with another division video. And this is, of course, the weekly vendor reset. So you all know what it is by now, and you all know how I do it. So let's start with the blueprints. This week we've got an MG5, a Model 700, a Stamina knee pads, electronic knee pads, a compensator, an Omega rifle suppressor tan, and an electronic skier mod blueprint. I'm actually going to save up some more Phoenix credits and pick up the MG5 blueprint because some of the classified gear that we're going to be getting is going to definitely work well with an MG5. This week, as usual, all the exotics have re-rolled. So the Cassidy this week rolled with Fierce and Responsive. Now this is actually a really good Cassidy. I'd definitely recommend rolling off Fierce for possibly something like Destructive if you want to use it in PvE, or maybe Competent in PvP. The Pecan has rolled with Self-Preserved and Prepared. The Liberator with Commanding, Focused and Vicious in the free slot. The Historian with Adapt and Sustained. And finally the Centurion with Expert and Swift. Whilst we're here, there's also a really nice Tactician's or authority pack rolled with skill power and burn resistance, a pretty low electronics roll, but like I've already said, the major attribute and the minor attribute are actually too worth keeping on here, so you could easily roll for a main stat and get it close to maxed. But this is all in this special equipments vendor. So this week at the advanced weaponry vendor, just upstairs from the terminal, we have a PX4 Storm, a converted SMG9, a classic FAL, an M870 Express, a Kova SRS and a classic M60. Now we're going to go and have a look, see if there's any other weapons around the world that are worth picking up this week, followed by gear and then followed by the extras which include gear mods and weapon attachments. The first port of call is the Grind Safe House. We've got a pretty nice ACR. Now I know not everyone likes an ACR, but I do. This has got a 22% enemy armor damage roll on it, rolled with responsive, prepared and destructive. Definitely roll off prepared for something like competent if you want to use it in PvP or something similar. But this is the ACR in the Grind Safe House. Now we're at the Wolves Den and we've got a really nice PP19 here, again rolled with responsive but it's got dominant and hurried. Definitely roll off dominant for a talent of your choice but it's got a really nice 21.5 crit hit chance roll on it as well. So this is going to be perfect for those weird defense builds you guys seem to like using an awful lot. So this is in the Wolves Den safe house. So now we're at the Park Avenue DZ checkpoint and here we've actually got a Black Market M60 E6 rolled with Ferocious, Brutal and Adapt. Now honestly I would probably use this as a PvE LMG and I'll definitely roll off Adapt for something like Swift to make that reload a lot quicker. But like I said, that's only my opinion, so make this LMG useful for yourself. It's also got a 15% damage to target out of cover roll on it as well. So that's some of the best weapons I could find this week. We're now going to have a look at the gear and see if that's anything worth mentioning. So in the East 58th Street checkpoint, I had to start off with another specialized bag. This is already rolled with skill power, but a pretty low firearms roll. It does have burn resistance on it. So if you're looking for a skill build bag, this might be for you. Definitely roll off firearms or max a main stat out. But this is in East 58th Street checkpoint. Kicking things off with gear, we're starting in the DZ08 safe house. We've got a really nice reckless chest here, rolled with skill haste and health, and it's also got the ammo capacity on it. The only thing I'd recommend rolling here is a main stat. Skill haste is a lot better than you think. If you haven't had a look into it, then I definitely recommend you doing. And if you've got the odd 200,000 Dark Zone credits, definitely pick this one up, even if you do keep it in your stash. Along with that, we also have a really nice Hunter's Faith holster rolled pretty high on all three main stats barring firearms and it's got skill haste on it. Now the only thing I'd probably recommend rolling here is possibly health but unless like I've just said you want to use skill haste then this is almost a god rolled hunter's faith holster. This again is in dark zone 8 just behind the previous vendor. In the DZ09 safe house we've actually got a really good fire crest vest. It's got health on kill, health and ammo capacity rolled on its attributes and a really high stamina roll as well. Now, the only thing here, I'd probably roll off health on kill for something like skill haste or something of your choice, because stamina is already a pretty good roll, and with it having health and ammo capacity on it already, you're pretty much set for a god rolled firecrest chest. That's it for the gear this week, now we're going to move on to some of the gear mods and possible weapon attachments. Still in DZ09, we actually have a really nice compensator. It's got 13% stability, 4% crit hit damage, and 6% headshot damage. Not a bad compensator at all, especially if you don't have anything else to put on the muzzle of your weapon. Along with that, we also have a really nice vertical grip here with optimal range, reload speed, and accuracy. 
At East 46th Street Checkpoint, we have a plus 7.5% support station prototype performance mod. I don't really need to explain what it's going to do. At West 34th Street Checkpoint, we have a prototype performance mod for plus 2% pulse crit hit damage. Again, no need to explain on what that's going to do. The firewall safe house contains a plus 5.5% first aid self heal. These are super good, especially with a mini nerf that happened to medkits a few months back. I actually already have a few of these, but there's no harm in buying a few more, right? So there we have it guys, another weekly vendor reset down. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then let me know either by clicking that like button or by leaving me a comment. And if you enjoyed the video and want to stay up to date with the division then make sure you subscribe for all of the future division content that's arriving on this channel. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.